Merchants have to adapt the payment methods to each local market in order to make sure that conversion is optimized. So when entering a new market, you really have to make sure to identify yourself with the market. So what, what exactly do consumers want in a particular market, also when it comes towards payments. So there are a lot of local payment methods and payment schemes out there, and you need to evaluate which payment method is, is it that your consumers desire. What you need to know about the local payment heroes, first of all, you have to identify which ones they are in each particular market. Once you have identified that, you need to also make sure that you know the pitfalls to this payment method and how to mitigate this and how to hedge against such risks. So some of the trends are that uh, credit cards will decline, so therefore there will be more APMs. And also not just in transactions, but also in actual payment providers. Credit card payments are declining mainly because of M-commerce. So credit cards are very difficult to use in an M-commerce setting, and so therefore there need to be alternatives to such cumbersome processes. Credit cards can be very expensive, and oftentimes the merchant is also exposed to risk. E-wallets are gaining ground mainly because they, have, they are solving the omni-channel problem. The ever-evolving alternative payment method market will create payment methods that you and I have not heard of uh, and you, you and I have never thought of uh, using. Right now there are uh, payment methods out there that also keep the social aspect uh, involved. If you told me five years ago that social payments would ever take off, I would have called you crazy. We need to keep an eye on, on every payment method that offers an omni-channel capability because ultimately this is where the market is heading towards. These are payment methods that merchants desire and consumers at the end will also benefit from.